Blue Ribbon Blend is a tribute to America's flagship, the SS United States. The SS United States, the world's fastest ocean liner, isn't just a marvel of technology. She is a living icon of the American dream. She represents the power of freedom, hard work, common purpose, and innovation. Entirely made in America by over 3,000 pairs of tireless hands and with products and components from every state and nation, the SS United States was a global ambassador and a pinnacle of mid-century maritime design. She debuted in 1952 as the most powerful, modern, and advanced passenger liner ever built, smashing the transatlantic speed record and winning the coveted Blue Ribbon designation on her maiden voyage. But behind her graceful lines and patriotic flair, she was a national security asset capable of being transformed to a state-of-the-art, top-secret military vessel. The story of the SS United States is our story. It is the story of a nation's triumphant emergence after the trauma of World War II. It is also a story of glamour, of old Hollywood, and the advent of mid-century modern art and design. It's about people from small towns and big cities setting out on journeys and distant shores. It's about immigrants crossing the sea and beginning new lives. We proudly donate 25% of all sales of this lovely coffee to the SS United States Conservancy. The Conservancy is a group dedicated to preserving and rescuing the glorious and largely forgotten vessel, which was the pride of the American seafaring during the golden age of ocean liners. This is a cause near and dear to the hearts of Ironclad's founding family as Ryan's paternal grandfather, Philip L. Rourke, pictured below, worked as a welder on the SS United States in the early 1950s after returning home and serving in Europe theater during World War II. The ship put on a service as a luxury ocean liner in 1969. It has been sold several times since the 1970s with each new owner trying unsuccessfully to make the liner profitable. Eventually, the ship's fittings were sold at auction, and hazardous waste, including asbestos panels throughout the ship, were removed, leaving her almost completely stripped in 1994. Two years later, she was towed to Pier 82 in the Delaware River in Philadelphia, where she remains today. In March of 2020, RXR Reality announced its plans to repurpose the ocean liner as a permanently moored 600,000 square foot hospitality and cultural space, requesting expressions of interest from a member from a number of major U.S. waterfront cities, including Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Miami, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego. Along with many others, we are hoping to see the day when the Big U is put back into use the way where future generations can enjoy the majesty of this important ship. What's in the bag? It's a blend of higher-end Brazilian coffees from a collection of smaller family estates called Sidio in the Sol de Maias region of the Minas Juris state. We roast it to a true medium level, which accentuates the rich chocolatey notes which are so typically present in nice Brazilian coffees. Greetings once again, my friends, fellow historians, and fellow fans of the SS United States. Today, I've got a little treat for you guys. I'm going to show you some coffee that's from the site, the SS United States, the Conservancy. And I'll put the link up, and I'll also put the link in the description if you want to get some. 25% um, or more of the proceeds actually goes for preserving this wonderful ship. So, give me a minute. I'm going to put you on a tripod, and then I'll show you the coffee. Okay, so this comes from Ironclad Coffee. And this is the Blue Ribbon. I'm really excited to show you guys this. It's going to come in this box. I got the box upside down because of the label. show you guys the invoice blue ribbon brand whole bean coffee I got two pounds it was $32 with the shipping was $8.90 so for $40 $41 we got some coffee and we got to help 
the SS United States. <clears throat> So let's take a look at the actual So I actually there's a <laughs> there's a lot of coffee in here. So I'm very excited. You can see it's got the date February 17th. Blue Ribbon brand coffee. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, that smells so good. Fellow coffee lovers, this is going to be amazing. All right, so let's actually see how it tastes. Now I got a coffee pot uh, percolator from the SS United States that I'm going to be doing a video on. Right now I'm in the process of restoring it because it's pretty grungy and I don't want to drink out of it right now. <clears throat> but that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the coffee from this and it'll be the closest thing to having coffee on board the United States. So, let's see how it tastes.
All right. I like it in my Dunkin' Donuts cup, and I like it with two sweet and lows and just a bit of cream. Now for the taste test. Mmm. It's smooth. <clears throat> it's rich. That's the way to go. If you're going to have coffee, you got to have fresh ground, fresh brewed coffee. It's just, there's nothing like it. Coffee lovers won't be sorry they got this coffee. And if this is what coffee tasted like on the SS United States, they were well taken care of. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'm going to put the link, if you can con give to the Conservancy of the SS United States, um, everything we can do to help her out would be great. This is America's history, and believe it or not, it costs $60,000 a month for her to be docked. So I'm trying to get my wife for us to use some of the income tax, and if we do a $500 donation, we actually get to go to the ship and we get a tour for two. So I'm working on her for that. But if you can give something, that'd be great. I'll put the link in the description. And thank you for watching.